The newly appointed chairman of Barclays Bank, Sir David Walker, has suggested he agrees in principle with customers paying for their banking. So could this mean we'll soon be charged to use our current accounts? Our business presenter, Joel Hills, is in the city. Joel, good morning. A lot of people will be worried by this. Do you think that we will all have to pay for our bank account soon? Uh, well, on the face of it, Charlotte, many of us already are. I mean, I think this issue of banking and the costs uh, we incur as a result of being banks' customers is one that's been a hot topic uh, for regulators. The Office of Fair Trading has looked into this. The Independent Commission on Banking uh, has looked into this. Uh, and, I mean, I think, generally speaking, it's widely acknowledged that the idea that ba we bank for free nowadays is largely a myth. There are accounts where... Uh, you don't incur any charges, but they are pretty unsophisticated creatures. Uh, and I think, generally speaking, uh, in one way, shape or form, it's widely accepted that whether it's in face with low interest rates, whether it's overdraft charges, whether it's an upfront monthly charges, um, most accounts incur some form of cost. I think the controversy has been really the degree to which this is made clear. Uh, and again, uh, the degree to which competition is working. It's worth... Um, pointing out, Charlotte, that of the four main banks in the UK, 80% of us bank with them. And I think the concern up till now has been less about the fact that whether or not there are charges and whether or not banking is free, it's widely accepted that it isn't, but that banks, whether they're passing on and making clear what their charges actually are and what, when you incur those costs and the degree to which there's competition uh, between them. People don't tend to switch banks uh, very often. It seems being a big hassle. Uh, and I think it's widely accepted that banks really haven't been falling over themselves necessarily to offer uh, their customers the best deals. And Joel, what do you think customers will make of the prospect of having to pay for their bank accounts? Then? Do you think that they will resign themselves to the fact that this is something that will happen? Or do you think if any banks can keep their current accounts free, then those are the ones that everyone will want to move to? Well, that's a question of personal choice and a question of taste. I think the Office of Fair Trading on behalf of customers would applaud if Barclays were to go ahead and uh, make absolutely crystal clear what its charges were for different accounts. Uh, then I think that would be something that uh, the regulator certainly would applaud. In terms of the way people behave and what they look for, uh, what do they want from a bank account? If you're looking for something as an alternative to storing money under the mattress, uh, then you probably don't want something terribly sophisticated. So perhaps there would be a bank account uh, that you don't want to incur any charges. If you want internet banking, if you want to be able to man uh, manage your direct debits uh, online, if, you have, uh, if you're a small business, for example, and, uh, and have a number of transactions and you need a level of banking that's far more sophisticated, it may well be that you're prepared uh, to pay a little uh, for your banking services. But I think there has been a general problem in that the industry has not been necessarily as transparent as it could be in terms of being upfront with the costs and the fees that it charges. Customers have been confused as a result. Uh, Sir David Walker clearly indicating that uh, banks provide a service, that it's perfectly legitimate to charge for that service, and suggesting, too, that perhaps uh, Barclays will be advertising much more clearly uh, what its fees are in future. Joel, thanks very much for that.